welcome back to App School Reviews. This is the second video today, so I'm hoping y'all enjoy it because I didn't get to upload yesterday. It was New Year's. Now, I haven't done a Christmas special video or a New Year's. I'm probably not going to. Uh, I just don't feel like I had enough time, and I'm really just going to suck these two last days out of school in. So this is the Mayfax Joker figure. This is number five. I, this is the only Mayfax figure I have. So, as we can see on the front of the packaging here, we can see it comes with like a rocket launcher and some good accessories there. It says, Why it's So Serious, The Joker, a lot of ha ha has, Medicom Toy, DC Comics, the side of this box has the Joker card on it. The back of this shows a whole bunch of different ways to display the figure, and you can see the layer hanging on the wall. You can see all these accessories and ways to display him, really cool. So we're going to have a look at this figure open it out of its packaging. There is the Joker open it out of its packaging. Get a little close. Well, not getting to have a close look. Just look at the accessories he comes with, which is pretty high. A lot of accessories, almost too many. He comes with this clear display stand, and it's separated in three pieces. You can see there. And the other piece here. And these. Oh, crap. <laughs> The swivel, this thing opens, it's kind of hard to focus, but it spins here. It also goes all the way forward, all the way back, you know, bend, bend, swivel, swivel, stuff like that. So you can hold the figure, so that's pretty nice. He also ends up coming with the RPG, as I showed in the package earlier. So it's pretty nice. It's got some different colors here, some green, some matte black, some shiny. Uh, chromes, some browns, another brown red right there, and then this black, kind of like a drum piece right there. Also comes with an alternate head here. Does not look like Heath Ledger. I've said that in the last review, and a lot of people have said that about this figure, but I don't really care. I didn't have time to pick up the neck one, and I probably won't pick up the neck one. But I do like how this is not just straight white like it is on the package. It's kind of like a, like, I don't know, it's just like the, the paint's rubbing off. Looks pretty nice, though. Also get a MP40, I believe, is what this gun is. It's not too much colors except this color and then this painted on there or something around that type of way. This is soft rubber, too. He also comes with a Glock 19. I'm, I'm not for sure what kind of gun this is. I mean, but... It looks like a Glock to me, so... And, and the way he shoots in the movie, too, and it's got an extended mag, which makes more sense. It's a nice chrome on there. Nice detail. He comes with quite a bit of hands here. He comes with two fist hands. A pair of... Well, that was the only pair of things he comes with. He comes with a card-holding hand, a gun-holding hand. The knife-holding hand. Where is that? And a, uh, whatever you want to stick in this hand. Um, whatever you want to. Just like, I think it's for the RPG or something like that. Now that we have looked at all the accessories, we can look at the figure now, which is actually pretty good. It's not horrible. It's not fantastic. But for Mayfax, I'm going to say it's probably pretty good. <clears throat> uh, this head's more kind of a relaxed head. And I do kind of like that. It's kind of like the one over there. On the VHS, the V, or not the V8, gosh dang it, the Blu-ray, golly. So you can kind of see that there. The neck here is a painted part right there, so it's kind of a different color chance there, there. Like from the neck to the head, and the head and neck usually end up separating on mine. You can see the different colors in the jacket there, or the undershirt is like kind of patterny with a tie and a green vest thing. The chain here is real. It's pretty nice. The pants here have some stripes the shoes are done pretty nice i think they have some dry brushing to bring out some detail yeah that's what it looks like and it does have that and i think it might have that on the pants but i can't see it so i'm gonna say not and the trench coat's pretty nice too it's got some slits here in the back either for mobility or accuracy of the film and it's pretty nice now these joints kind of up here are easy to hide like right there, it kind of sticks out, but since it's got this weird like joint, you can kind of shove that back in there, and it kind of hides it. So you can kind of see the differences there in the way that look. So you can just push that up. 
I'm not going to go over this figure's articulation, but I am going to go over the hands here. These hands are kind of like the T-1000 hands, they're the relaxed versions of the hands. And that's what comes on packaged with the figure. Great detail there that we get more different hands. And the, each of these hands have stitching right there on the back of the glove, if you can kind of see that there. And they're all practically done the same. Um, the articulation, since it's Mafex, is pretty good, like double jointed uh, elbows there. A nice range of motion here, a nice range of motion in the neck, because the neck's double jointed. Oh, dropped the head. I'll show you what I mean. Head's got this double joint. If we can see that there, like this part on pegs, and so you get two joints there, so it's really nice. While I'm sitting here talking about action figures, I want to tell you what I did for my New Year's, New Year's Eve. So the night before it turned 12 o'clock, I watched Back to the Future Trilogy and then Home Alone 2, and it was pretty nice. I called some people in the live chat or group chat, and we, you know, were there until it said 12, and then it was pretty nice uh, for 2018. So it's weird to say 2018's here. I don't have a subscriber goal, because that's just stupid. It's just fun reviewing action figures, and that's about it. And I love changing my background, so I guess you can kind of say that was like, hey, that's, that's like a special thing this year. So I entered 2018 with a new background. It's much, I mean, this is true. I've never really had that background for a year yet. Not even my old sign. My old sign was maybe here for like six months, possibly. That's probably it, though. Inside of this trench coat even has some pockets. They're not real pockets, but you can kind of see them in there. They're pretty cool. And then the licensing there. I'm going to show some ways you can display this figure. You can display him like this, just standing there, which is kind of boring. He's just sitting there like the Joker. Or like, like this, kind of like he's like all happy and giggity or something. I don't know. He looks really cool like this. Have him with the Glock. Maybe aim down the barrels with the Glock or something like that. Looks really cool. Maybe have him like this, laughing. Just really cool. Something I forgot to note was these are so small, I didn't even see them on the review table. He comes with some carts here. There's nothing on here. And he comes with this knife. And I believe this knife has actually begun to break. So I wouldn't even display him with this at all. Because it's just going to probably snap for you. But you can kind of see that there. It's like breaking right there. My thumbnail is right there. So I'm pretty sure that's kind of fragile. <clears throat> also have this figure with like the, the what's it called? The MP40 looks really nice. Really cool. Or with the cards. Or with the fantastic knife. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Today we had a look at, or in this review, this video we had a look at the Mavex Dark Knight Joker figure number 5. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Don't forget to hit that uh, bell icon for when I go live, if I go live. Also hit the subscribe button. If I already said that. Also give this video a like, share it, do whatever you have to do. Just, you know, also go on Action Figure Sanctuary right after this video. Open up your Facebook, type it in, and post action figures. Look at some cool action figures. You can even buy or sell action figures on there. But it's a really cool page on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching Ash Score Reviews. And that's it. Yeah, peace. I don't want to say that. Thank you guys for watching Ash Score Reviews. Just keep reviewing stuff like I do.